is up. A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. Uh, this week, we're taking it to the tiers one more time. <laughs> right? We're going to complete our tier tray series. Last Friday, we did a spring tier tray set. Sunday, we did an Easter tier tray set. And tonight, we're going to show you how to make the actual tier tray. We're making two tier trays. Kim's going to glue some stuff that she found together. Well, we're going to show you how to customize a tier tray. We're going to use um, a variety of tiers. I'm going to show you those in a little bit. And then Garrett's going to make a tier tray so that you can paint it and customize it any way you want. And on top of that, we're also going to make a tier tray set, but we're going to show you how to do it with your Cricut. Yeah, we're going to do the same tiered set two different ways. She's going to use her Cricut. I'm going to use the Glowforge. <laughs> Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. I just needed some quarter inch MDF, some paint, and some glue. I think that's it. <laughs> I needed a few more things. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to customize your tier tray. You can use things that you can find at some of your retail shops, like I got this particular set of trays. You see there are three trays here. I got this set from Ross, and it's a lemon theme, which is the tier tray set we're going to do tonight, a lemon theme. I found this cute set. Uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These starfish. There's a, it's just two of them, but look how cute this is. This is going to be perfect for a mermaid tier oh, tray set. Like I'm not a, making this one like tonight. A beach one. But I wanted to see you can find these lots of places. And then we also found this wood set and a couple of candlesticks here from Hobby Lobby. So you can go get these anytime. And for our lemon tray set, I have three tiers here. And I found these two candlesticks. I got these. Tuesday morning? No, where did I get these? Hobby Marshalls. Lobby. Oh, I got them in Hobby Lobby. Um, I had to look at the tags over there. And we're gonna use these as our two tiers. They're, they're two different sizes here. Isn't that perfect? So I can't wait to put that together. For something like this starfish set right here, you can buy this little tear tray what would you call this? Oh, uh, like stand kit? Stand kit, yeah, I would say that on Amazon. And we'll put a link to that in the description below. And then for the Cricut, oh, yeah. we're going to use heavy chipboard. Or we found this particular board, which is like a heavy chipboard, over there, well, it was at Hobby Lobby as well. This was over in the framing section. Uh, near the framed mats yeah. and in between the frames and like the model section yes so this is pretty heavy pretty thick but it was already white so i don't have to paint this one and i was really excited to try this it comes in a sheet what size did you say it was, it was? 16 by 20 it was two dollars and fifty cents so we just use an exacto blade to cut it down and then we'll uh put it in our um cricket what else i need vinyl we're doing a lemon theme, so I'm going to use yellow, black, green. Yellow, black, green. Two shades of green, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, two shades of green. And then I'm going to, with our chipboard, I'm going to try and make a shaker with the chipboard. I'm going to layer that and, and still make a shaker and make it look like it's holding some water. Ooh. So that's going to be really cute. And I think that's it for now. That's it. <laughs> You're listening it's going to be fun now. Longer. Wait till you see. How customized and cute my tray is, though. Step two. Now we're going to make our tiered trays. I don't have any hand motions for tiered tray. She's going to glue hers together. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and stack my tiers, and he's going to go cut his I'm on go the Glowforge. Cut mine out. We created this uh, SVG, this file that we're going to use from a tiered tray we actually found at Hobby Lobby, already done, but I loved the shape of it, so wait till you see the shape of it. Uh, and I thought this would be great to make our own custom tiered tray with this cute shape. We haven't seen this before on Etsy, so I'm excited to show you something we think is creative and new for us. That, and I think we can use it for the farmer's market to display these tiered tray kits. Oh yeah, oh, that was a given. Yeah. Gonna totally take these tiered trays. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead, get started. Alright, 
So you get to sand the top of the board before you glue it. Get rid of that shiny top on the candlestick fingers. Um, I guess I could. Garrett says that I should run a little sandpaper over the top of this thing so it roughs the surface up so the glue will have something to stick to. So I'll do that before I add my Gorilla Glue. I haven't taken the tags off of these yet so I'm anxious to see what they look like. Yeah, this is going to be great. So see my three trays? Isn't that perfect? Let's see. I'll do a little measuring to see where the center of this thing is. I'm going to glue these down with traditional Gorilla Glue. Use it sparingly because it will puff up. I'm not going to put, I'm going to put a little super glue on the edge to hold it while the Gorilla Glue dries. Set this aside, let it dry. Back with my tear tray. Tray number two. Got a bunch of little pieces. Go put them all together. I got little feet. Little feet go together. Everything just slides together. Now I got my tiered piece that just slides together. Is candlesticks. My, my topper. Bam! A collapsible tiered tray! Well, I don't know if it's collapsible. I think we'll have to glue these pieces in when we do the final assembly. Mm -hmm. Because you gotta give it enough room so it puts together nice and easy. You can make them super tight, but then... It'll get tighter once I paint it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely gets tighter that, once that I paint it. That chalk paint gets a little thick, it'll get tighter. But what do you think, so I can't really show you easily, so I'll take this off. What do you think of this shape? Isn't this great? I love this oblong shape with yeah. the, um, I don't know, decorative corners. I think it looks great. It gives a little class, a little pizzazz. I didn't put it in because we're going to take it apart to paint it. Oh yeah, okay. And that's where the customization comes in. The thing about this tier tray is you can paint it any color you want. What I tried to convince Garrett to do, which because this was his, I don't think I was, well I know I wasn't successful because he didn't purchase it. But I was thinking would be great is if we painted this thing a solid color and then add some of those rub-ons on top, you know, with a different colored flowers or something like that. I think that would give it a really cool look to it. Um, if we could have found some rub-ons with some lemons, oh, yeah. could have done that so. to go with our tear tray set. But that's what I thought was really great about being able to make this tear tray is I can customize it with any paint color I want. So when we do the ladybug theme, we can paint it red and black. But for today, what color are we painting it? I haven't talked to you about it. Oh, I was just gonna go black. Black. <laughs> of course he is. Nice and simple. Yeah. Keeping it, keep it manly. Keeping it simple. <laughs> All right, well that'll be an easy one. We have our country chic paint here in licorice. Brand new, it's nice and heavy. Step three. Now we're gonna cut out our accents. I'm gonna go over to the Glowforge, take my quarter inch and cut it out. And I'm gonna go over to the Cricut and I'm gonna use my vinyl and cut out all my lemon accents 
And I'm also going to use my mat chipboard. Yeah. Mat board. Yeah, my mat board. I think that's a good one to cut out my mats or the backers for all my tra tear tray accents. I'll meet you back here. <laughs> Pieces. And I got a bunch of little pieces. I'm back with all my vinyl pieces. I have to do a little weeding and he has to do a little painting. I have to do some painting. I don't know. I think I'd rather weed. <laughs> lemons weeded I'm going to start putting transfer tape and applying them to my backer pieces I'm still painting it hasn't even started I was organizing I'm gonna organize them by color and I'm going in Okay, we have a cute little lemonade stand um, that I've cut out of the white chipboard, but I'm going to cover it in this cardstock that looks like shiplap, and I think it's going to give it that wood look. Do you think? Do you think that's the right one? Okay, I use the spray Mod Podge because. I just took my shoes off and I can't really reach the Mod Podge up there. <laughs> so we're going to try this version. Alright, everything is dry and now I'm just going to put it all together. I'm going to use this a Gorilla Super Glue Gel. I, I love this stuff. I put it on everything. No tags. Yeah, the thing about this gel Gorilla Glue, it only takes, you know, 30 seconds and it's stuck. So, you know Garrett loves that. That's <laughs> He's all about the instant glue. <laughs> All right, our last bit to assemble is the what, mason jar yep. lemonade cup. Got to put it together, take a sip. This is like going to be our shaker. So we have a frame, a piece of acetate, and a frame. And for our Cricut, same thing. We have a solid backer, a center backer, and then a top frame, oh. which I painted mine black. I forgot all about the straw. Let me put my straw in there. Fits right in there. And we have one too. My shaker is going to have a little glitter in there. So it looks like maybe water in it or something. And my shaker has two lemons. I can shake my lemons. <laughs> shake your lemons. Shit, it sounds, it sounds dirty. <laughs> you made it dirty. Oh, you made it dirty, girl. Wow. There's <laughs> my guy. There's mine. Yeah, Charles Point the opposite way. <laughs> Oh, mine aren't right. as free flowing as I thought they'd be. I mine are. 
Uh -oh. oh, here's this free flowing. Free flowing out the side and top. Note Is it coming to out self, the hole? I didn't seal it all the way around. Oh. Mm. I now am thinking about that. Guess what? I can fix that, I think. Yeah, I would just run a bead around the outside, yeah. 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 Step four. Now we're going to assemble them. Well, I'm going to assemble mine. I guess Kim already assembled hers. Mm -hmm. Make the trays. I finished up in make the trays. Oh. What was that? Step two, make the trays. Well, step two is always make your cuts. Yes. So. Well, he made his cuts. I made my tray. Somewhere in there. All right, they're a little stiffer. At least I don't have to hold it now when I flip it over. So, oh yeah, it's pushing the paint off. I was thinking, since you got this black chalk paint. Yeah. You want to write something on it? Well, you could, but I was thinking you might hit it with some white wax and just brush it across. Nah. Like that chalky look to it. Like Let's see what it looks like when it's put together. Okay. Okay. Well, like yeah. I said, a no glue needed. Huh. Well, I guess around for the trim, the little lip piece, but otherwise, I don't know, maybe if that paint loosens up. But, yes. Man. We were purposely generous with the paint. I know he was. Yeah. Trying to make sure that we fill the wells, makes it a little bit snug, more snug. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, maybe not as snug. much as you. <laughs> yeah, think. a little yeah. too deep on the paint. All right. Step five. And now we have the exits. We kind of just uh, put it all together. You got some other things like a little tree. Go put a little tree in mine. Uh, something I didn't think about until later for mine. I don't have a cool topper like you would normally have a topper, but not to worry. I have this cute plant that I thought would work perfectly up here. <laughs> Lemonade. Damn. These are the only mugs I have that still say travel. <laughs> <laughs> really getting a lot of miles out of these travel mugs. Hey, I don't have anywhere to hang my my pennant really. I don't know how to. Oh. I don't know how to hang my lemons. Right on our round one. I'll just put them here. Yeah, maybe I have to figure out how to put it in there. Maybe I'll scatter them throughout. Oh, here's a pennant. Here's one tucked in here. Look at this. Can you see showcase your? Oh, um, where's my, where's my little uh, oh, lemonade right. hut? <laughs> this. Oh, I totally forgot about this guy too. Squeeze the day. I don't know if I have enough room on here. <laughs> Squeeze the day. My lemonade stand. I gotta turn it this lemonade. way. Lemonade. Come on here a little bit. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have enough spaceage. Oh, I can't really fit squeeze the day up there. Put them over here. Pucker up. Oh, see my little stand? Should my stand go at the top? My stand will stand alone. Yeah. I'm my stand is standing. I'm going to put mine up here. Work with a little greenery in it. So cute. 
a little pucker up. And then I'm with you. I don't have anywhere to put my pennants, but I could add them throughout. Yeah, I scattered mine. He's lazy. This guy's tucked up in here. Right. Stand my stand up. Alright, we gotta stand up. Oops! Let's see. I'll put a couple over here on this side. Not much here on the back side. Oop, knocked it yeah, over. Yeah, my back side's bare. Alright. How well can you see that? Yeah. Oh! Ah! I forgot about my my lemonade hut. Light side, dark side. I didn't even notice. Here's a little white. Mine's like all black. Oh yeah, that's what I was trying to stick with that same color theme. <laughs> my straw's clogged. <laughs> Look at how cute. I'll put him down here. I love this. So this is the whole. This is. This was all about theming out your trays. So with this tray, you can decorate it however you want. You can paint it whatever color you want. It'll go with anything. Yeah. Um, this is the 3D version of the tear tray accents. Here's how you can use the SVD, SVG and create your own Cricut version of the tear tray accents using some heavy chipboard, a little paper, a little vinyl. Little I think this, they look great. Little that, something yeah. I found. Oh my, oh my gosh. It's Something I broke. <laughs> Alright, I think we're about out of time on that one, Kim. Before yeah. you break anything else. Yeah, let me just stop touching We're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do a build and make it again. Uh, I don't feel like balancing it. Yeah, I'm going to balance this thing. Should I balance it with the stuff on there? Woo! Oh. That tree is thrown off the balance. Can I do it with the tree on there? Whoa! Come on, Garrett. Please, please put it down. Oh, whoa, 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 with the tree! With the tree! Oh, right back in like a helicopter.